We are aware of this as we contemplate the sun of its immense strength and the energy that traverses the entire solar system. It is difficult to imagine anything being able to exceed our sun. But not far from our own star lies a cosmic wonder. That makes even the most powerful solar giants appear a minor factor in comparison. Voju, the red supergiant, cannot be explained merely by its enormous diameter. Its irregular pulsations and the star's unpredictable behavior remain an enigma to scientists who are still studying its power and potential. As they take a closer look at this magnificent star, they have discovered something terrifying. Join us on this tour as we delve into the constellation Orion with the James Wood. Telescope and explore how its arrival could change. Our comprehension of the root causes of cosmic phenomena and their effects on the universe. If you're interested in keeping up to date with news from the universe and its surroundings, subscribe to our channel. Make sure to like this video and activate the notification bell, although many people are unaware of it. It is possible to identify Voju in the night sky during the winter months in the northern hemisphere. Just look up at the sky and focus on the constellations Orion and Canis. Major to see this dazzling star in all its splendor. The reddish shorn star is easy to find. It marks the upper left corner of the rectangular. Shape of the constellation. The star is one of the largest and brightest in the night sky, making it difficult to miss. However, if you have looked closely at the star, you will have noticed that it does not remain constant. In fact, it varies in brightness periodically. This peculiarity is not an accident. Voju is not your typical star. Despite the fact that it may appear to us as just another star in the vast firmament, it is located at a distance of more than 640 light years from us. At first glance, this may not appear impressive, but in reality, it represents an enormous distance. To illustrate this magnitude, let's say we were able to travel at the speed of light, which, unfortunately, is not possible. Even in that scenario, it would take us more than 640 years to reach Voju if we wanted to undertake such a journey in a spacecraft that uses even our most advanced technologies. It would take over 12 million years to get there. This number significantly exceeds the total history of human civilization on Earth. However, the faintness of Voju's light is not solely attributable to the distance that separates us from it. Voju is what is known as a pulsating red supergiant, which means it is an ancient, massive star that undergoes expansions and contractions. During these cycles, its brightness can vary in the night sky, becoming more intense or dimmer over time. Changes in brightness can occur over extended periods ranging from tens to even thousands of days. The amazing thing is that Voju can oscillate in brightness. It can range from a magnitude of 0 0.5 to reach zero, making it extremely bright. These changes follow cycles, with the shortest being 185 days and the longest lasting up to 2,335 days. At certain times, Voju can become quite faint, a phenomenon known as minimum visual magnitude. In February 2021, it was reported to have presented its lowest visual magnitude in a long time reaching a plus magnitude of 1.614, despite still being relatively bright. This is certainly fainter than what we usually observe from Voju. However, brightness is not the only outstanding feature of the star. Voju is known for its distinctive reddish color, which is due to its cool surface. With a temperature of about 3,500 Kelvin, this temperature is much lower than the surface of our sun which reaches approximately 5,500 Kelvin. This lower temperature means that Voju emits much less energy per unit area, despite being one of the largest stars we know and far more massive than the Sun. It appears much dimmer. Voju is like that giant who is satisfied with a low profile and does not need to flaunt its size to feel important. But don't be. Fooled by its appearance, Voju is a supergiant star, about 20 times the mass of our sun.
This is one of the reasons the star has served as the subject of numerous studies over the centuries. It has been a prominent object in the nighttime sky and was first referred to by the ancients. Greek astronomer Tommy's Arabic name means the armpit of Orion. Though not much could have been known about Veru at the time, the use of modern telescopes has allowed researchers to investigate this occurrence in greater detail by analyzing its light. Astronomers at Verouge have been able to identify several of its features, such as its size, temperature, and composition. The Ha Space Telescope, for example, has provided detailed images of Verouge's surface, revealing intricate gas and dust patterns. Through observations like these, researchers have been able to develop models to better understand the star's behavior and predict its future. Veru's evolution has also been studied using the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Arabiter, known as ALMA Stat of the Art Observatory in Chile. ALMA has produced high resolution images of Veru's surface, showing specifics regarding its structure and behavior. One of the most remarkable discoveries made by ALMA is the presence of an extensive plume of gas extending from the surface of the star. This plume is believed to have been caused by pulsations, which can be explained by a process called convection. Convection involves hot gas rising and cold gas sinking. This motion causes waves that traverse the star's atmosphere, leading it to expand and contract. Thanks to the Hubble Space Telescope, detailed images of Veru's surface have also been obtained, exposing intricate gas and dust patterns. These observations have enabled researchers to build models to understand the behavior of the star and predict how it might act in the future. In addition, Baru's surface is characterized by dark spots, also known as star spots or magnetic spots. These areas exhibit particularly strong magnetic intensity. The magnetic field in these regions prevents gas from flowing from the interior to the surface, creating a cooling effect. As a result, the spots appear darker than the rest of the surface. Veru's magnetic field is thought to be thousands of times stronger than that. By the sun, this intense magnetic field traps gas on the star's surface in arcs or loops, forming star spots. It's important to note that the presence of star spots is not unique to Veru's. They are also observed in other stars, including our own sun. However, the star spots on Veru are especially interesting due to their size. They are several times larger than Earth and can cover up to 20% of the star's surface. Significantly more expansive and numerous than sunspots, these bright spots can impact the overall brightness of the star, causing changes as the spots rotate in and out of view. Veru's brightness can fluctuate because the cooler, Spots emit less light than the surrounding gas. This leads to changes in the star's observed brightness. In Veru's case, its pulsations also contribute to brightness variations as the star expands and contracts. As a result, star spots move in and out of view, further enhancing the fluctuations in brightness. Surprisingly, Veru is not as unique as one might imagine, while there aren't many stars like it. Some share certain similarities and are just as fascinating. Antares, for example, is a cosmic cousin of Verua, gigantic star in the constellation Scorpius. Antares is a variable star, meaning it undergoes transformations in brightness over time, just like Veru. In addition, Antares has a mass approximately 12 times greater than the Sun's and a diameter about 700 times larger. So, it's safe to say Antares is no slouch when it comes to size. Now, what do you think? Do you believe Veru has already exploded and it's just a matter of time before we see it in our skies? Let us know in the comments below. If you liked the video, like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon.